Welcome to Temple Sinai. I'm Rabbi Aviva Bass. To begin tonight's Kol Nidre service, I'd like to invite our co-presidents, Lynn Weinstein and Betty Adams, to come and to deliver a special message. L'shana Tova. I'm Betty Adams, and it is my honor to be co-president of Temple Sinai along with Lynn Weinstein. Each of us has been a member of Temple Sinai for over 20 years, and the members are like family to us. And we are thrilled that you are with us through these holy days. In case you're new to us, we're a small reform congregation, inclusive, volunteer-run, hardworking, and our members are from many different backgrounds, from growing up Orthodox, conservative, reform, interfaith families, Jews by choice, and all across the spectrum. In other years, in addition to our members, that there's been a constant stream of friends and neighbors of Temple Sinai joining us for the High Holy Days. Sometimes these friends and neighbors become a permanent part of our temple family. Our clergy and members love the sanctuary filled for the holidays and to see your smiles. This year has been a challenge for Rabbi Aviva and Cantor Jake, who have certainly risen to the occasion since mid-March. Our lay leadership and volunteers stepped up to maintain connections within our congregation. We're proud to say that our Temple Sinai community's bonds are stronger than ever. When we decided to offer our High Holy Day services to the community at large without putting a price on them, we really didn't know what to expect. We want to take this opportunity to say thank you to all of you who have supported us with donations. It warms our heart to know that you understand the value of what Temple Sinai brings to you and that you want to help us continue our success. Youth and adult education are priorities at Temple Sinai. During this time of isolation, that has been even more true. Our students actually looked forward to meeting virtually last spring. We've chosen a new online curriculum and are expanding our community outreach to offer children remote Jewish education. We look forward to the time when we can welcome them back to our building for social gatherings. We want them to understand and to love what it means to be Jewish. Our adult education programs are engaging and enriching, encompassing many aspects of Jewish culture and open to the community. Temple Sinai emphasizes social action and social justice. Our social action committee has grown and encompasses many different projects, all of them meant to make our own community and our world a better place. Through the pandemic, many more members and neighbors have become more active, using their extra time and energy to get involved. Today, we urge you to respond to our, our High Holy Day appeal when you receive our letter or email asking you to contribute. This is such a critical time for us financially. Without being able to gather, several of our usual revenue streams are on hold indefinitely, so we need to ask. We realize that only a few can give much, but we believe that all can give some. Thank you if you've already sent a gift. Please consider an additional gift for all the right reasons, so we can gather joyously or solemnly in our sanctuary for Shabbat festivals and life cycle events so children can learn about and love being Jewish to teach their children the same, so we can continue our part to repair the world. Please answer our requests in this High Holy Day appeal to ensure that Temple Sinai will thrive. There's a saying in Talmud, as my parents planted before I was born, so do I plant for those who will come after me. May we all be inscribed in the Book of Life. Gamar Hatima Tova. Thank you. Inni he ani mimas nirash v'nifchad mipachad yoshev tehilot Yisrael. Lord, let it 
לפניו. על עמו ישראל אשר שלחו ני. אף על פי We now begin our service in our Maroon Gates of Repentance prayer book. On page 251, we continue. Light is sown for the righteous and gladness for the upright in heart. Beshiva shel mala, u beshiva shel mata, al dot amakum. Vil dota kal anu matirin lehit palel im havarianim. In the sight of God and the congregation, no matter how far some of us may have transgressed by departing from our people and heritage. We pray as one on this night of repentance. Page 252, 
Cole Nidre. Let all our vows and oaths, all the promises we make and the obligations we incur to you, O God, 
between this Yom Kippur and the next be null and void should we, after honest effort, find ourselves unable to fulfill them. Then may we be absolved of them. Page 253. And God said, I have pardoned in response to your plea. Please join me in reciting the Shehechianu. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Shehechianu Vikimanu Vehegianu Lazman Haza. Please remain standing as we continue with the Baruchu. Seated. The following reading is not found in your prayer book. Day and night are yours, creative spirit of the universe, the muted colors of twilight, the radiance of dawn. Yours are the spreading wings of light, the deepening shadows of darkness, and ever changing drama. In the human heart, too, the struggle between darkness and light unfolds. From sunlit heights of generosity, the human heart sinks to the gloomy depths of selfishness. Although we fall, you give us strength to rise again. You call on those who hurt through word or deed to break free from wrongdoing and return to you. All who hear your call to goodness are embraced. All who reject emptiness and evil find acceptance from you. We come into your presence this holy night of Kol Nidre, aware that our shortcomings and weaknesses are many. Yet, encouraged by your promise of forgiveness, we choose freely the path of repentance restoring wholeness to our lives and holiness to the world. Umavir yom umevi laila, umavdil ben yom uvein laila, Adonai tzivaot shemo, el chai v'kayam tamid yimloch aleinu leolam vayed, baruch ata Adonai, Hamari Varavim. We continue on page 254 at the bottom. When justice burns within us like a flaming fire, when love evokes willing sacrifice from us, when to the last full measure of, de- of selfless devotion, we demonstrate our belief in the ultimate triumph of truth and righteousness. Then your goodness enters our lives. Then you live within our hearts, and we, through righteousness, behold your presence. Ki heim chayenu veorech yamenu, uvahem nege yomam velayla, veavatech al tasir mimenu leolamim, 
Baruch Ata Adonai, O Heva Mo Yisrael. We rise once more for Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kevod Machuto Le'olam va'ed. Please be seated as we continue in the English. You shall love your eternal God with all your mind, with all your strength, with all your being. Set these words which I command you this day upon your heart. Teach them faithfully to your children. Speak of them in your home and on your way. When you lie down and when you rise up, bind them as a sign upon your hand. Let them be symbols before your eyes. Inscribe them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Be mindful of my meats, vote and do them. So shall you consecrate yourselves to your God. I am Adonai, your God, who led you out of Egypt to be your God. I am Adonai, your God. Adonai Elohechem Emet. Page 256. True and enduring are the words spoken by our prophets. You are the living God. Your word brings life and light to the soul. You are the first and the last. Besides you, there is no redeemer or savior. You are the strength of our life the power that saves us. Your majesty and your truth abide forever. You have been the help of our people in time of trouble. You are our refuge in all generations. Your power was manifest when we went free out of Egypt. In every liberation from bondage, we see it. May your law of freedom rule the hearts of all your children and your law of justice unite them in friendship. May the righteous of all nations rejoice in your love and triumph by your power. O God, our refuge and our hope, we glorify your name now as did our people in ancient days. The shadows fall, but end of day fills the light with brightness. The infinite heavens glow, and all creation sings its hymn of glory. With hope, therefore, we pray for light within. O God, reveal yourself, hide no more, let your face shine on all who seek you. Eternal and infinite God, banish our darkness, be present to us as the sudden light that lifts the heart and brings us joy. Then shall we be at peace, O God, whose peaceful shelter we seek through all the days and nights of our lives. Baruch atah Adonai, haporei sukat shalom aleinu, ve'al kol amo Yisrael, 
ועל ירושלים. We continue now on page 260 as we continue with the tefillah. Those who are able to do so, please rise. Adonai sifatai tiftachu fi agite kilatecha Adonai open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise Baruch atah Sadim <laughs> tovim vekone hakol vezocher chaste avot vezocher chaste veimahot u mevi goel livne venehem. Leman Shemo Leman Shemo Devenu besefer besefer hachaim lemanecha Elohim chaim melech ozer umashia umagen baruch ata Adonai Magen Avraham Vezorat Sarah Ata Gibor Leolam Adonai Mechaye Akol Ata Rav Lehosh
Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Shalom Rav Al Yisrael Amcha Tassim Le'olam Ki Atahu Adon lechol hashalom. Ki atahu melech Adon lechol hashalom. Etav beinecha levarech et ancha Yisrael bechol. Zacher v'nikatev lefanecha Anachnu v'chol amcha b'et Yisrael We continue on page 269. Our God, God of our mothers and fathers, grant that our prayers may reach you. Do not be deaf to our pleas, for we are not as arrogant and stiff-necked as to say before you, our God and God of all ages, we are perfect and have not sinned. Rather, do we confess. We have gone astray. We have sinned. We have transgressed. Please be seated. We continue now with Ashamnu at the bottom of page 269. <laughs> Oh. 
Have committed offenses. Together we confess these human sins, the sins of arrogance, bigotry, and cynicism, of deceit and egotism, flattery and greed, injustice and jealousy. Some of us kept grudges, were lustful, malicious, or narrow-minded. Others were obstinate, possessive, uh, quarrelsome, rancorous or selfish. There was violence, weakness of will, xenophobia or fear of strangers. We yielded to temptation and showed zeal for bad causes. We have turned aside from your commandments and from your precepts, and it has not availed us. You are just, whatever befalls us. You call us to righteousness, but we bring evil upon ourselves. What can we say before you who dwell on high? What shall we plead before you enthroned beyond the stars? Are not all things known to you, both the mysteries of eternity and the deep, deep dark secrets of all who live? You search the inmost chambers of the heart and probe the deep recesses of the soul, Nothing is concealed from your sight. On page 271, now may it be your will, God of all generations, to forgive, forgive all our sins, to pardon all our wrongdoings, and to blot out all our transgressions. The sin we have committed against you, under duress or by choice. The sin we have committed against you, consciously or unconsciously. And the sin we have committed against you, openly or secretly. The sin we have committed against you in our thoughts. The sin we have committed against you with our words. And the sin we have committed against you by the abuse of power. For all these, of mercy, O God of mercy, forgive us, pardon us, grant us atonement. The sin we have committed against you by hardening our hearts. And the sin we have committed against you by profaning your name and the sin we have committed against you by disrespect for parents and teachers, the sin we have committed against you by speaking slander, the sin we have committed against you by dishonesty in our work, and the sin we have committed against you by hurting others in any way. For all these, O God of mercy, forgive us, pardon us, grant us atonement. 
We continue now on page 278. Our God, God of all generations, may the sense of your presence never leave us. May it keep us ever faithful to your covenant. Make us responsive to your teaching, that we may walk in your ways. Fill our souls with awe and our hearts with love, that we may return to you in truth and with all our being. Eternal God, let the strength of our longing for you help us to grow in the wise use of our powers, that through us your power may be magnified in human life so we may hallow this world and labor to redeem it.
tonight, we listen to the chanting of the Kol Nidre, our annual statement nullifying our vows and words that may have been spoken in haste in the coming year. Kol Nidre and all of our High Holy Days leading up to this point has a great deal to do with our words, the effect of those words on others, on ourselves, and on our relationship with the divine. Formulating words takes place at lightning speed for most of us, starting in our brains and then requiring a quick inhalation of breath and an exhalation of what we wish to say, or sometimes what we wish later in retrospect that we hadn't. Words need air. We have all wished at one time or another that we would have thought better about the words we were about to exhale while we were inhaling. When we inhale, we usually don't give much thought as to what we are breathing in, what is in the air around us. But there are some interesting facts I would like to share about the air. You may have heard about the Saharan Air Layer, or SAL, a huge plume of dust that floated on the air all the way from Africa to the U.S. and prevented many potential storms this year at the beginning of the hurricane season. I, for one, was amazed to learn that dust from the Saharan Desert in Africa floats on the wind all the way across the Atlantic Ocean to the Amazon River Basin at a rate of an estimated 28 million metric tons per year. This dust is necessary to the Amazon's ecology as it gives back much-needed phosphorus and other nutrients that are lost with annual flooding. In fact, it is just the right amount of phosphorus about 22,000 metric tons of it, almost the exact amount of mineral lost to rain and flooding and flooding each year. When you look at this dust cloud, which is clearly visible from space, it is a reminder of the power of the wind. All of this dust is carried by the wind. It is lifted right into the air, And that dust in the air makes the air visible in a way it is not usually seen. Now, we normally don't think about the air, but of course it is necessary to our survival. We need the air for the oxygen to fill our lungs and to be routed through our bloodstream. We need to breathe. I Can't Breathe has become a rallying cry this summer for calls to police reform and racial racial justice, but it is because our breath is sometimes something we usually take for granted. It is difficult to imagine being deprived of it unless you've survived something like a drowning or other scare in which you've experienced needing air and have not been able to take it in. For example, we know that those on ventilators in hospitals sick with COVID cannot breathe on their own. They are intubated with a machine that does the breathing for them. This dread illness has robbed them of the ability to breathe. And we pray for their health and for a cure or treatment that will render these ventilators unnecessary very soon. In Hebrew, the word for breath is neshima, and it is etymologically related to the word neshama, or soul. In God's creation of the first human being, God is said to have breathed life into Adam, Adam made from Adama, earth, just as human is made from the humus. Adam is merely dust without God's breath. And so are we all. From dust we come, and to dust we will return. And in between is breath. But we don't only inhale, 
we exhale as well. And we have special abilities with our exhalation. Human beings are able to exhale language, to use our voices to speak. This speech can be used for the better or for the worse, which is, as I stated at the outset of this talk, the reason why we have the Kol Nidre prayer we return to every year. We have the opportunity to annul our vows, speech perhaps ill-considered, which we would like to take back. Unfortunately, as we learned as children, we cannot take back words once they've been spoken. And that is why we also have this time to make teshuva, repentance and return, with those people whom we may have harmed through our careless words this year. We are also endowed with another great gift. We are able to sing. It is a true blessing to be able to inhale and then exhale with melody. There are few creatures with this ability to produce song. We keep company with, of course, birds, but also toadfish, mice, bats, antelope squirrels, Pacific chorus frogs, and whales, namely humpback, killer whales, and beluga whales, which are often called sea canaries because of their beautiful sounds that they make. Unfortunately, for those of us who love singing, especially with other people, we are unable to do so right now because of the risk. Scientists have learned that tiny invisible particles called aerosols are admitted whenever we speak, yell, or especially when we sing, and that these tiny aerosols can be, in fact, deadly to others if they contain the novel coronavirus, which we may be carrying even though we may not feel sick. Every time we exhale, we can spread inspired words, beautiful song, or, sadly, even death. But, what if we think of our breath like this? What if every time we exhaled, we spread hope? What if our love and hope were as contagious as COVID? What if our respiration was inspiration to others? Both of those words, by the way, contain the root word meaning spirit. What if your spirit could touch another spirit in a meaningful way every time you exhaled? What if before we breathed out words, we considered that we have the potential to share this breath with the whole planet, just as the desert has the ability to fertilize a rainforest across an entire ocean. At this time of social distancing, the last thing we want to do is share our breath. And yet, while we still do have breath in our bodies, it is a mitzvah, a divine obligation for us as Jews to use that breath for good, good, to create greater tikkun olam through our speech as well as the action that speech inspires. On this sacred night, when we ask God to release us from words spoken in haste, let us pray that our every breath exhales songs of peace, that our spirits emit lyrics of hope and love, and that their melodies lead to greater good and to higher aspirations. May the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable to you, Adonai, our rock and our Redeemer. Amen. We open the ark as we rise for Avinu Malkenu.
We remain standing as we turn back in our prayer book to page 43 for the correct words for the Alenu. Alenu, page 43. Alenu le shabeach la don hakol la teke ro la leot sevre shit shelo asanu ki goye haratzot velo samanu ke mishpachot adama shelo sam chelkenu kahem vegor alenu ke chol hamonam vanachnu korim. Umishtachavim umodim Lifne melech malche amlachim Hakadosh baruchu Vinemar vehai Adonai Lemelech al kol haaretz Bayom hahu We continue on page 283. Birth is a beginning, and death a destination, and life is a journey from childhood to maturity and youth to age, from innocence to awareness and ignorance to knowing, from foolishness to discretion and then perhaps to wisdom, from weakness to strength or strength to weakness and then often back again, from health to sickness and back we pray to health again, from offense to forgiveness, from loneliness to love, from joy to gratitude, from pain to compassion, and grief to understanding, from fear to faith, from defeat to defeat to defeat. Until looking backward or ahead, we see that victory lies not at some high place along the way, but in having made the journey, stage by stage, a sacred pilgrimage. Birth is a beginning, and death a destination, and life is a journey, a sacred pilgrimage to life everlasting. And now in memory of all of those whom we have lost, as well as in solidarity and in memory of all of those who were murdered in the Shoah, we rise on page 284 for the mourner's Kaddish. Yit gadal v'yit kadash shemei rabah ve'alma divarach yirutei ve'amlich machutei v'chayechon uv'yomechon uv'chayei d'cho b'yit Yisrael ba'agala uv'izman kari v'imru amen yehei shemei rabah mevorach le'olam ulal me'almaya Yit barach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit tramam v'yit nase v'yit hadar v'yit ale v'yit halal shemei dekudisha brichu le'ela u'le'ela min kol berchata v'shirata tush berchata v'nechamata da amiran ba'alma v'imru amen yehe shalom marab b'min shemaya v'chayim aleinu v'yokol Yisrael v'imru amen. O se shalom b'mirmav, hu ya se shalom, aleinu v'yoko Yisrael v'yoko Yoshvei Tevel v'imru, amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who mourn and comfort all who are bereaved among us. And let us all say, amen. Please be seated for our final song. 
אדון עולם אשר מלך בטרם כה יצא נברא לי אינה שא וחפצו כל אזי מלך שמו נקרא אזי מלך שמו נקרא ואחרי ככלות הכל לבדו ימלוך נורא והוא היה והוא הווה והוא יהיה בתפארה והוא יהיה בתפארה והוא אחד ואין שני להמשילו להכבירה בלי ראשית בלי תכלית ולא העוז והמשרה ולא העוז והמשרה והוא אלי וחי גואלי וצור חבלי וצרה והוא ניסי ומנוס לי מנת כוסי ביום אקרא מנת כוסי ביום אקרא בידו אף כי רוחי בהית אישן ואירה ואם רוחי כביעתי אדוני לי ולא אירה אדוני לי ולא אירה